low. Yay. Diesel. White. Rocket fuel. Powder. Nose candy. Yayo. Yeah, yo. No white. Coke. Dust. Cocaine. You have no clue what demons and problems that you're about to encounter when you decide to do coke. Cocaine is manufactured from the uh, coca plant. There's a certain process where they extract the actual cocaine properties from the plant and they refine it down into a powder. Even though it's basically considered powder form, when you buy it, it's still kind of clumpy because it, it comes off a block. Cocaine can be cut with glass. It can be cut with Drano just to get the users to get that first burn in their nose so the rest of the night they're numb, they don't feel what they're sniffing. People from very young ages to senior citizens use cocaine. It's not prejudice. It's considered a rich man's drug, but even teens can afford it at lower and lower costs. So once a person is addicted, the price skyrockets because they need more and more, and it gets more expensive to have the habit. There's a lot of different ways to do this drug. I just snorted it. Mostly for me, I smoked and snorted it. You can smoke it, you can shoot it. It can be uh, injected into the bloodstream uh, through IV needles. I was 14 when I first tried coke. The first time I did cocaine was when I was 16 years old. I was 18 years old. Just going to like house parties and hanging out with friends. I was with a bunch of friends. They were all doing ecstasy and coke and smoking pot, drinking. I was at a high school party where there was some older guys there and they had cocaine. And of course the older people, they're the cool people and they were going to the parties and they were doing the drugs. I was in such a crowd of like intelligent people and people with lots of money, cocaine came into the picture and it was just one big kind of a party drug. You know, I'd do it once every month or so and then as it progressed I'd be doing it every other weekend. Within an eighth month span I went from trying it a few times to becoming a weekly user to eventually a daily user and then to becoming a dealer. Once, once you start taking that stuff, like I said, you feel like a rock star, you feel invincible, you feel just nothing can touch you. You can make conversations, you're happy, but that's only for about a half hour. The night I first took it, I wanted more that entire night. With Coke, it's like instant, because it only lasts for 15, 20 minutes, and then you gotta have another line. And then I need some more, because I'd start coming down. So you're just constantly chasing this high that you'll never achieve. I was leaving work every half an hour to go buy more. I was working like 14, 16 hours a day. I started using more and more cocaine to keep working, to make more money. You spend all your money on it, one way or another. It was so expensive that I'd only do enough um, until I ran out and I couldn't afford to buy more. That's when I realized I had absolutely no control over myself and the cocaine was pretty much controlling me. You do more so you can feel normal and you don't feel normal ever on the drug. I couldn't complete anything I started. Couldn't have a conversation with anybody. I couldn't look anybody in the face. Your body craves more and more, but when you're at that point, the more you take, the more dysfunctional you become. It's like quicksand. Once it gets its grip, it just starts sucking you in. And the harder and harder you try to pull yourself out of it, the deeper and deeper you go. I'd wake up in the morning, if I didn't have it, the first thing I'd think of was a 9mm in my head. I thought I needed it to get up, I thought I needed it to go to sleep or anything like that. The, the couple days after you do cocaine, your, your muscles ache, your sinuses are real bad, your nose starts bleeding. My nose hurt so bad from doing it that I couldn't sleep without having lines set out for me so that when I would wake up throughout the night, I could do some just to numb the pain. I would go through extreme hot and cold flashes, very severe night sweats. Like I can't sleep, feeling disgusting. The chills, the shaking. I was doing so much cocaine that I was actually hallucinating. And depending on the time, um, actually sit there and talk to myself because I was going crazy. You know, seeing things, constant paranoia, constant depression, suicide attempts. So it went from being a party drug to a drug that kept me holed up in a dark room by myself, scared of my own shadow. I was um, in the business, uh, family business with my father, paying the bills. I was an accounts payable for him. I basically advanced myself $30,000 within three months and almost put the business under. I was making a lot of money at the time. Everything was on plastic and credit cards. Everything else was going to cocaine. Probably upwards of about six, seven hundred thousand dollars I started shooting it. I missed the vein and actually went into a nerve 
and um, it blew up my whole entire arm and hand. My arm just kept on inflating more and more. I thought I was gonna die. I flatlined and then they all came rushing in and they took the paddles and hit my chest and everything. They brought me back again. After I'm out of the hospital, there I am, doing it again. When I got to a party and a uh, guy walked in, I didn't know the guy, I beat him, beat him, put him in the hospital. You know, beat him, beat him until he was unconscious. You know, just because I didn't know who he was. Yeah, I was paranoid. There was a kid who just gotten out of prison and he knew I was hard up for money and he wanted me to go rob these people. We all went in there in masks with guns. We taped them and tied them up and took everything they had. A good friend of mine, I, I went through uh, middle school, high school with him. He tried to rip somebody off at a high school party and they shot him in the stomach with a 40 caliber. And he's dead now, 20 years old. I can't feel that happiness that I remember feeling before I did drugs. My memory is nowhere near what it used to be. I have a hard time remembering certain names, certain faces, certain places. I actually had like numbness in my leg for a year because I was shot in my leg. My foot still damaged from that. Damage to my arms and my veins and stuff. When I blow my nose, I still have blood and other tissues coming out. And I actually gave myself an ulcer that ruptured. Heart attacks, strokes, tears in your heart, nothing good. You know, everybody always talks when they're young, oh, I'll try anything, I, I want to try something new, I'll, I'd do it, I'd do it, but it, it's just not worth it. I wish I had never done it that first time. A social acceptance wasn't worth it. The girl wasn't worth it. The pain and agony to my family wasn't worth it. If you think you control it, you can't. It can't be controlled. It will take a hold of you quicker than you ever thought possible. I'm 34 years old now. I feel that my 20s were, you know, completely unproductive and a waste. I don't know anyone who has just done cocaine one time and had it not affect their life in a negative way. It might seem fun right now, and you might be thinking you're having a good time, but there's no such thing as an old drug addict. Um, you're going to kill yourself. You're choosing death over life, and, and that's the reality of the decision you're making.